welcome back to our channel. I'm Nikki. And I'm Rachel and we're the Stitch Sisters. <laughs> <laughs> we're back with some actual making today. Look at all these things, all these things, all these things, all of these things have been made. <laughs> Following on from our spring wardrobe planning video that we did a few months ago, a few yes. weeks ago, we've actually been making some stuff. We have. And the funny thing is, is that I realised this the other day, it wasn't spring sewing plans, it was our sewing plans for 2022. Oh, well, and it just so happened that our head was already thinking in spring mode. Spring, mm. And there are obviously lots more things on that list, but I'm yes. quite impressed with what a dent we've managed to make yes. in that list. Absolutely. And most of what we've made is stuff we said we were going to make. Winning! <laughs> Which is the no, first. No randomness happening, no. as usual, which usually happens. So we'll kick off, shall we, with what we're wearing. Why yes. don't you tell us about what you have as two new makes you've got on there? Two new makes. So I have a pair of Chandler trousers, and the Chandler trousers are by Untitled Thoughts. Is that yes, right? Yes, that's right. Sorry, how good was that that I remember that? Yes, I never well normally remember. So Untitled <laughs> Thoughts, they are a nice loose fit trouser. One of my favourites. Elasticated back. And this fabric I have actually had in my stash I think for at least five or six years yeah but it was just perfect for a pair of basic trousers it's black but it has this kind of uh, little fleck running through it with a check so you can match it with any color they're really cute to wear they're really comfortable they are so I comfy love aren't them. they yes absolutely love them and then I've matched it with a sagebrush top so uh -huh. this is my second sagebrush uh, the last one I made was out of a cotton, which was really crisp, so the sleeves come out like this. Mm -hmm. But this is a viscose, so it's much more drapey, and I really love the colour. I just think it's a really nice kind of uh, wear with everything it kind is of style. absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I love them both. So that's outfit number one. So here we go, some close-ups. Yes. So it's this egg yolk yellow, isn't it? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Viscose, uh, what is it, like a chalet it's or a, a twill? It's, I think it's a twill. Yeah. It's a viscose twill. And uh, very neat top stitching across oh, your ruffle of there. Course. This is me, Lovely of course. little puff sleeve. And I've put elastic in it, so okay, it gives lovely. a little bit of puff, but it doesn't go a bit too wild. Lovely. And then these are the Chandlers. Let me show you my pockets. So we've got slant pockets, we've got two to uh, top stitched pleats on the front. Flat front. Um, has a faux fly, so yes. there's a little, if you turn around oh, there, so there's a little top stitched bit there at the front, which is lovely. Um, and then this awesome tapered leg. Um, so so um, turn up yes. and do a close up of the fabric so you can see the lovely little flecks of colour in there. It's really, really gorgeous. I couldn't, they would last five minutes in my house. <laughs> <Lola. laughs> So that was mine. That's your first outfit. That's my yes. first outfit. What about yours? So my first outfit, if you've already seen our shirts review this week, then you would have already seen my green Cynthia blouse. Yes. Um, but the reason why I wanted to put it on again today was because I'd always envisaged I would wear it with these trousers, which they're, I only finished last night. They're meant to go together. <laughs> Those dual colours look Absolutely. gorgeous. Absolutely. So you might have seen a photo of me in the past. I've still got threads. I've just seen a thread. Oh. <laughs> You know what it's like when you say you're okay. in your desperate to wear them and you don't check them over as close yeah, to no, that's fine. Um, but um, I have a photo that I love where I paired an emerald green blouse with a pair of cobalt blue trousers. Yes. Neither of which fit me very well anymore. Okay. Um, we're blaming the washing machine for shrinking them, but it's actually yes. me. No, no it's, it's shrinking. <laughs> it's shrinking. <laughs> so I wanted to make a more comfortable version of both of those. Mm -hmm. So the Cynthia blouse is a much more oversized version. And what I like about mm -hmm. this is that you can tuck it in like I have it here yes. um, and it's got this lovely drape all over um, but you'll see if you go back and watch our video where we talk specifically about the shirts that yes. we made um, that it's really nice worn out and loose as well mm. either open or done up yes um, and then these are my new favorite wide leg trouser they are the flint trouser the flint collot because the ah. Megan Nielsen flints are, are come in two lengths shorts and cut length. Yes. Um, so I added, um, I think it was 15 centimetres onto the bottom of these. Okay. Um, because I wanted them to be full length. I just yes. love the shape of them and I love how wide they are. Mm -hmm. um, and that just worked out perfectly. Lovely. So they have this single pleat at the front um, and then slant, slant pockets. pockets. Um, but then I did my usual hack where I um, replace uh, any kind of opening closure yes. with just, it's a stretch scuba 
crepe. Uh huh. So they just pull on and off. Amazing. But I did put elastic in the waistband just mm -hmm. to give it a little bit more structure. Yeah. But it's not smaller. It's literally the no. same size as the waistband. It's some, it what it is, it in at what all. it is is sometimes the fabric gives as you wear it, and it they just get slightly looser yeah. as you go through the day. And it's such soft fabric. Obviously, it's going yeah. to fold when I bend. Whereas having the elastic in it just keeps it a little bit more yeah. stable. And if I was to put something else in it to stiffen it, then it wouldn't stretch anymore. No, so. exactly. <laughs> I don't want that. Yes, here she is in our Cynthia. <laughs> This is beautiful. Looks so nice. Mm -hmm. And then down to our flint trousers. Yes. I do love how wide they are and I love the pocket. Yeah. So cute. Yes, really nice. I'm coming down right the way to the bottom. Look how long they are. Oh, they're so awesome. Yeah, and I kept the lovely deep hem yes. that, um, that is on the culottes. Yeah. Um, and uh, and I wanted them to just not drag on the floor, but be as long as possible as in that. So I can wear them with a heel if I want to. Um, so gorgeous. As you'll see, there's quite a few of these trousers yeah. in my makes, and that's mm. because they're so comfy. <laughs> Now, before we jump into the next outfit, we just wanted to share with you some details about our sponsor for this video, Skillshare. Now, you know we love a bit of online learning. Oh, yes. There's so <laughs> many things that you can learn out there on the internet. But what we love about Skillshare is that it's this amazing online learning community where you can take thousands of different classes. Mm. And they're so varied, whatever it is that you want to learn. Everything from creative classes to learning how to run a small business, everything from bread making to pottery. You name it, <laughs> they have it. <laughs> yeah, all those talents that you think, oh, I wonder if I can sing. I wonder if I'm actually any good at making a sourdough. Mm. You could find something to help you with yes. all of those things. And the great thing is that I've already finished my first class on Skillshare. So I took a class um, which is on iPhone photography and um, mm. how to take photos like a pro with your iPhone. And it's by Dale McManus. It's just an hour long but I have learned so much in such a short space of time. So everything from which settings I needed to change on my phone, oh, okay. um, how to, um, to change lighting, how to change shutter speed, all of these tricks and things that I didn't know my iPhone could do, but then also how to edit photos in Light Pro. Oh, so good. I've been testing out all of these things with just little pictures around my home and I can't <laughs> wait to get out and test them in the real world. You'll see them on our website soon. <laughs> yes, hopefully when we share our pictures they'll be even better from now on but I found it really, really interesting and I definitely want to go on and do some more of his courses yes. as well as some photography courses I've seen on fashion photography. Nice. I've been looking at lots of self-care uh, classes and courses from Skillshare. I've also been looking at things to kind of inspire my creativity and do more creative, creative things in my downtime as well as in my job. If you're interested in trying Skillshare, then look in the description below, click on that link, and the first thousand people that do will get a whole month free. And imagine what you could learn in just one month. Wow. A thousand people, that's amazing. Yes. So should we get back to the next outfit? Yes, let's get changed. Okay. So the next thing that we'll show you, again, is just a recap because we've already done a video exclusively for these and they were for our spring coats. Ooh. So we both made these amazing. Look at the colour. I know. Look at the colour. Let's put them on. But Come just on. to prove that they literally go with everything, we'll put them on now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look. Da, da, da. Love it. That Aren't blue and blue and orange. Oh, yeah, so good. Because it's, it's yellow, but then it goes orange when you put different colours next to it. That's why I like this colour. Yeah. And it's, you know how I love colour blocking primary colours. I did say blue and orange. I did say black. Well, it blue. does look more yeah. orange <laughs> when you put, when that you put blue the blue next yeah, to it. Definitely. Yes. So yes. anyway, I love this. yellow orange, yes. isn't it? Yes. So these are our spring coats. This is the Vicky Sose Martina coat. And mine is the Trend Patterns TPC28. Yes, now we've got amazing sleeves. Oh, so good. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> really good. We won't go into massive detail on these because we have no. got a video for that exclusively. So head over and watch that if you haven't yet. We'll tell you all the details about yes. the pattern and the fabrics that we use, which are provided by Minerva and our lovely 100% uh, wool. Mine's the boiled wool and yours. Mine's is just 100% wool, yes, I think. Yes, exactly. So, so we love them. So, so that's next. Nice. I think I might show you another pair of trousers. Ooh. I've got quite a few. I've got another pair of trousers as well. So, in fact, I've only made trousers and a couple of tops. Yeah. So I haven't made anything else. Yeah. Practical stuff first. So, well, trousers I'm next. I'm going to show you Ooh. my other pair of flints. Ooh. So these are polka dot flints, which were made first. 
Um, so I'm going to show you those. And I've got a pair of Portobello trousers that I made in a stretch scuba crepe. And I just love the colour. So let's show you those. Quick change. We'll be back in a sec. Ta-da! Ta-da! Black and matching. <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So mine don't need a lot of explanation because I already told you they're another pair of flints. So they're yes. exactly the same. They've got a slant pocket. They've got a single dart. But I've had this idea for black and white polka dot wide leg trousers for ages. Yes. Now these were a little bit disappointing because I got this fabric from, it's another scuba crepe. I got it from a seller on eBay and I worn them once. We went to the pub for just a couple of hours Literally. and I've got some quite heavy kind of um it's Killing. like bobbling. Yes, yeah. bobbling here. And I don't even know, like, it, it might be where it creases it's when you It's in a couple sit. of places, actually, because you've got it there as yeah. well, and at the knee. It might be where I was mm. sat under a table. Maybe it was rubbing on there. Um, now, to be fair to them... There's no heavy-duty stuff going no, on. No, it, it was pop. literally it was a few literally, hours. Yes. Um, so I, um, I told them they very kindly refunded me. And yes. they said that they couldn't make up for the time that I'd spent. Mm. Um, so what I'm hoping is that maybe I can get a bobble machine on that. And yes. It might still be wearable just whilst I hunt for a better quality fabric to Why make them in. Not going to do that. Um, but at least you know that they work and yeah. that, that you love them. But I feel like my my spotty trousers have been scuppered from the start because I bought that <laughs> fabric from Fabric Godmother, yeah. uh, which was a crepe, um, and that it's ended up being thin. too thin. So that's now going to become a shirt. So then I bought this, which was perfect. So I thought, yes. but now it's done this. So I'm okay. still on the hunt. If anybody sees any black base, large white polka dot fabric that in a trouser weight, stretchy, me know. preferably. With well, no, it doesn't have to be. Yeah. I'm more than happy to put a fastening in it. That's yes. no problem at all. It's just, um, yeah, finding the right one. Finding <laughs> the right one. But the reason I was so desperate to have these trousers is because I've got so many colour jumpers. Yes. And I just think it's such a ready-made outfit. It Chuck is. on literally any colour jumper. In fact, I've got another one here that I wore down to the studio. And just look how awesome it looks with the yellow. Yeah. Um, and I've then also got orange. I've got can, pink. Can, I've got everything. Can shove my sagebrush yeah. on. Literally. Just Every everything. colour, and yeah. it just like I said in our sewing plan video at the beginning of the year, yeah, adding in some more monochrome elements yes. to my wardrobe just makes the colours pop a little bit more yes. rather than have the colours not fighting for attention but no. kind of all being part of one big colourful e exactly. Melting well, pot. It just means you've got much more choice because yes. you can go for that bright top, bright bottom yeah. look, but also you can calm it down a bit yes. as well. Yeah, so. exactly. Uh, they're still really good fun, yeah, and, and they're really comfy, and I love them, and yeah, hopefully. Hopefully I can just shave these bits off, Hopefully. maybe even colour them in with a the sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to get a few wears out of Yeah, them, exactly. Yes. So I've got on my uh, my Nina Lee Portobello trousers. Yes. I keep wanting to call them Richmond, but that's the blazer. Portobello trousers, which we've made a couple of times in uh -huh. stretch fabric. Yes. We? So basically what we've done is we've done the same size as what we've cut when you've got a zip in it, uh -huh. you just basically don't do the zip and you just do it in a stretch fabric and just put the waistband all the way around. Uh -huh. And we absolutely love them. So I have three pairs of them now. And although I love the flints, yeah. I think they're just too wide for me. Being uh, tall, okay. I think I need a, the slightly slimmer leg right. of the portobellos, which yeah. is why I'm sticking with them and not being tempted by yeah. the flints. But it's but for me uh, because I've got wide hips. Yeah. That I need a wider hem. Right. To make my hips look in proportion. Otherwise, yes. they don't look like a wide leg trouser. So for me, um. I could buy a pair of flare jeans, for instance, or make a pair of flare jeans. Yeah. Unless I made them extra flary. Right. So that they were flared in relation to, to my hips. hips. Right. They wouldn't look like they were no. that flary. They would look like a boot cut. Yeah. So I have to make sure the wider yeah. the hem for me, I I want that. Shape. Yeah. And I'm not going to get that unless my hem is bigger than my hips. Yeah. So um, that's why I like the flints best. That's okay. We can we can each have our own favourite. We can indeed. Like yes. And you're just wearing a ready to wear shirt as well. It's a ready to wear gorgeous. shirt. Which is an and other stories thrifted shirt from eBay. Yeah. But actually I bought it at the, it arrived the same weekend that I finished these trousers and I ironed both of them and hung them up and went, Oh, they go beautifully <laughs> together. So yes. I'm just really pleased with it. It's the satin shirt. 
second hand, but I absolutely love it. And again, it's going to go with loads of yeah, stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So I really, really like it. That's so. why, I, I mean, I love nothing more than a good kind of second hand buy. Yes. Um, but sometimes you just have to do it because where yeah. would you find that, that fabric, fabric if you wanted Anywhere. to make that shirt? But also, it didn't, I don't think it cost me any more than about £10. Yeah. And I wouldn't be able to buy the fabric and make it for that, mm -hmm. that price. So I, I do like that kind of mixture of buying, making, yes, and too. thrifting. Yeah. I'm giving stuff that other people don't want a second life. Yes. And stuff that I don't want, I give to other people and do the same thing. Yes. Exactly. So that's yeah. it. Love it. Such a good combo. Really Thank gorgeous. You. <laughs> so let's uh, go for outfit number three, shall we? Yes. So let's see what else we have in here. Now, I've, I'm going to stick with the trousers because I've still got a couple more pairs. <laughs> I've all got trousers. So that's I fun. have got a pink pair here. Ooh. Um, and these are exactly the same as my green pair that I wear all the time. So it's another scuba crate. Rachel? They're the Rachel trousers yes. by Athena Kaku. Unfortunately, she's taken down her website now. So unfortunately, yeah. you can't get this pattern anymore. Um, but again, the reason why I do prefer this to the Portobello the is that they are wider. Yeah. Um, and I have to adjust the pleats on those, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to pop that on. Lovely. I've got another pair of trousers as well, because that's all I've got. And these are the Barry pants. Woo! And if you've seen one of our previous videos, we were talking about the Barrys versus the Bobs. So Barry and Bob are both from Style Art, mm -hmm. and we loved both of them. Again, this fabric is just something I've had in my stash for I cannot remember how many years. So I used it as basically a toile mm -hmm. and thought, let's just whip them up and see. And I love them. Yeah. I absolutely love them. Yeah, so really they're a nice. very wearable toile, and I will make two or three other pairs of Excellent. other fabrics that are in my stash too. Should we stick them on? Yeah. So here we are. Ta -da! Ta -da! <laughs> so Barry's or Bob's? Barry's. Barry's. Barry's, <laughs> not Bob's, Barry's. The difference is the Barry has a little uh, paper bag waist that you can add to the top and they have more of a tapered leg that comes down with a little pleat at the ankle, not pleat, a dart. You have yes. a little dart at the ankle. So it does give that kind of slightly carroty shape mm -hmm. they're not wide enough i think at the top to be true carrots yeah. but they're, they've got that kind of tapered leg shape yes i remember uh the bobs the grain line is not parallel is it no so, so you get this twist that happens yes i think just in the front yes and and then the sh the side seam is curved yeah. and that's yeah. where you get your shaping from whereas yeah. with these you said this it is a straight grain it is straight a straight line. grain uh, but again just like the bobs the yeah. barries are bigger at the back yeah all the houses oh, are but yeah, they're, yeah. They're, but they're massively much bigger, much bigger. Okay. so you get that kind of it, where it's kind of you get much more room at the back and things like that yeah we'll oh, do a little good. close up so you can see the details yeah but i love the fact that the shaping comes from the dart and the dart is right at the middle of the hem so, right in the middle yeah. at the front yes. so and that's the only bit of shaping yeah, yeah i love the pockets as well they've got a really nice little slanted pocket yeah and everything's got your faux fly and my faux fly there. yeah so it, nice details um but i've got a couple of pairs that i definitely want to make up again they're just so comfortable yeah. like every time i want i want to do that it just mm -hmm. makes them everything comfortable put an elastic waist in it but you can make them as fancy or as yeah. comfortable as you want and i love the fact that these are kind of just like this off denim color mm -hmm. so it's just like a comfortable summer jean basically. yeah yeah absolutely so, yeah so, so let's have a good look at barry barry let's get a close-up so we've we got go. this little uh paper bag waist at the top you can not add that if you want to because obviously you can just add elastic whatever mm -hmm. you want so yeah. if you want a big wide waistband you yeah. can okay lovely. but i did it as per the pattern okay and then my lovely little slant pockets and then we've got sorry to show everyone your crotch but we have your <gasps> fly front fly. and then let's take a look at these pleats now nikki made me work out yesterday and i can't actually squat <laughs> down so apologies if that's really slow but the pleats are just there right in the middle you see the hem are they on the front and the back or no, just the front just the front There's okay front. so you can see how that brings the, yeah, the front as it's narrower it brings it in yeah the ankle. fascinating i love that i love how that works with turning 2Ds into 3Ds. You need 3Ds. your own barriers. That's yes. all I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Winner, as far as really I'm concerned. Them. Yes. And yours? Gorgeous. Well, as I said, these are the Rachel trousers. Um, so they are a straight leg trouser, but they do go slightly wider at the bottom. Yes. Um, so yeah, I'd call them a wide leg trouser. Yeah. Um, these are kind of in between the flints and the 
Richmond. And not the Richmond, Portobello's. Port yeah, that's right. So they actually come with one dart, but I always switch it to two. Um, yeah. Because um, I find that, that on these ones, I don't know why it isn't the case on the flints, but yeah. on these ones, I find one dart's really not very flattering on my okay. tummy area. Right. Okay. So I add the second dart. Is that a much bigger dart? You make it two smaller darts? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, I do have to take these in slightly anyway um, for the size. So uh, when I make them in a stretchy fabric. Okay. Um, so I, I actually make the, the one dart into two, but then add a bit more as well to get oh, okay. it to the size that I want it. Yeah. So I can't really talk you through that, but then you can't get the pattern anyway. Yeah. Um, because it's kind of by eye. So when I make these, I literally just copied the pleats on the green yeah. ones. Yeah. Um, so and they're to fit you anyway. <laughs> yeah, so exactly. Right. Exactly. Um, right, here we go. There's the spotty blows everyone now wants and wants to recreate. <laughs> <laughs> And then down here, so we can see your pockets and your darts. Uh huh. Very nice. Your pleats. And that's yes. just a straight leg. Straight and leg. And again, I always kind of stop them so they're just above the floor. A little bit of trainer um, poking out at the bottom. Yeah. You might notice that we have matching, matching trainers. <laughs> Nikki had them first. To be fair, I yeah. copied her. Copy her. Yes. There we go. They are absolutely gorgeous. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love them. I've worn them so much. Like between these and my green ones, I'd say they're my most worn trousers. Really? And the polka dots would have been in there too if I hadn't the hair oh. fluffy so quickly. Because they're just so comfy. Yeah. And to me, they're like I mean, they're they definitely secret pajamas. Yeah. Um, but it's like wearing tracksuit bottoms, but feeling smart. Yeah. I saw a blog post on Who What Wear this week, which basically said the thing that's going to be replacing, or or the only thing that kicks jeans out of your favourite item in your wardrobe yeah. is, is a wide leg trouser yeah. and um, and I just love that it kind of elevates, elevates things both, but yeah. doesn't but it still feels casual yeah. especially when you do it with chainers yes absolutely but then we'll soon be getting into the, the territory of flip flops yes. and wedges uh -huh. and all of that kind of stuff so yeah, absolutely. that's very wearable in the summer yes. I've got three pairs of uh, bobs and one pair of bearings. I think I need more of bobs. You need at least the same I need amount at least the same before bobs. you can make a fair judgment. <laughs> and I want to make barriers too. So we have talked about the battle of Barry versus Bob. And yes. I think we will do that at some point. <laughs> Um, but the blouse I didn't make. I found this in a charity so, shop. It was three pounds, <gasps> and it's it's just an H and M one. Gorgeous. Um, but it was too. I knew it was too small for me. But uh -huh. what I noticed when I saw it hanging there, I just loved the fabric. And yeah. I was obsessed with polka dots, as yes. you know. Um, and it had these tucks. It had oh. two deep tucks. Oh, on each side at the front yeah. and at the back. <gasps> by the time I'd unpicked the tucks and by the time mm. I ironed them, you couldn't, you can just about see in a couple of places oh, where okay. they were. Um, but that gave me an extra eight inches at the wow. waist, which was all I needed. So now it's exactly the fit that I wanted because I would have wanted it as an oversized. Three pounds. But I love this bow. Yes. And I love the sleeve. It's this nice. huge sleeve. Um, and it's a viscose fabric. Um, so, you Feels know, it's nice. lovely draped to it. So um, when I saw this, I immediately imagined wearing it with the hot pink trousers that I hadn't yet made. <laughs> so once I bought this, I then made the trousers the next thing on my Desperate list so I could wear them together. <laughs> I, isn't that the wonderful thing about sewing is that, you know, you've, you, what you've done is you've understood that blouse and understood that you can make it fit you just by making those little adjustments. Yes. And you've also got the outfit completely planned on your head yes. and ready to right, go. Exactly. So, final outfit. Yes. Although, I've got one extra than Nikki um, mm -hmm. and I did actually make this quite some time Time ago, so I'm not going to put it on now. I'm just going to quickly tell you about it. So I made this two-piece um, kind of tracksuit, I suppose, because yeah. I made it out of a ponte. So this was, um, it's a 70s pattern. I'll insert yeah. a picture because I can't remember the details, but it's a style pattern. Um, and, uh, yeah, and I made it out of this neon red, but it kind of reads as orange and sometimes yeah, red. Yeah. Depending on what it's against, it looks more orange against the pink. Yes. Um, but it definitely looks red against other colours. Yeah. Um, and this is a, it's a ponte. It was described as a ponte, but it's got almost like that crinoline texture yes. to it that you that we got in the 70s it's that kind of polyester almost like a waffle very fine waffle yeah it's got um, a coarseness to it hasn't it yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's a really cool um, kind of tracksuit. Yes. So the trousers are a wide leg. 
Very wide leg. Um, yeah, they're awesome. So they've got this lovely wide leg. Um, <laughs> but then also what I found is because I made them in a stretch fabric, they actually turned out really big at the back, oh, okay. which I was chuffed about because I wasn't expecting. So I just did an elasticated back yes. just to cinch those in. So they're flat front, elasticated back. They're so comfy. Yeah. And, uh, and so I just chuck it on with a T-shirt and trainers, and it's really nice for yeah. just running around and doing areas. Stopping traffic. Kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. You're an orange. If I need to guide any planes onto the <laughs> runway then I'm all sorted but I'm not going to try that on now because I did get some pictures last time I wore it so I'll just pop them up so you can see what it looks like on also it's um, an old pattern so people can't actually buy the pattern so, exactly you know, so um but I just love it and uh, and it was another too. pop of color and another co-ord I, I love feel, a co -ord. I feel like I need to make an apple green one to match it <laughs> yes yeah, so we, we, we can mix and match let's see what other colors now I've got <laughs> so the final thing that I'm going to show you um is um uh, this top here, which is a stripy kind of t-shirt, sort of t a lightweight sweatshirt, that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I've been seeing stripy tops everywhere recently. Are you obsessed with um, black and white by some reason? <laughs> um, and, but with colour. Yes. <laughs> and uh, and so I really wanted this kind of white stripe. And then I remembered that Art Gallery Fabrics had sent me this um, jersey a yes. while ago. Um, and I hadn't decided what I was going to do with it. And I saw this picture, I'll find it and, and insert it, um, that I'd seen online. I think it was a picture from And Other Stories or something like that, but it was for this um, yeah. wide stripe sweatshirt. And I thought to myself, ooh, our latest top class has got a similar kind of neckline to yeah. that. So I wondered if I added a band instead of a facing at the mm. neckline, cut exactly the same dimensions yes. as the top class. And then instead of just adding the little sleeve band that we show you yeah. um, on the um, class, I extended that out into a full length sleeve. I just created a bit of shaping here because I didn't want to have to stretch the cuff too much. Oh yeah. Um, so I just, instead of going straight out, I just used my dressmaker's curve to kind of curve Curry. that in to the size of a sweatshirt cuff that I found that was yeah. just on another sweatshirt that I had. Um, and then made a little cuff to go on the end of it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just brilliant. I love it. It's exactly what I wanted. Yeah. And the great thing about the top class is that all of these tops use about a metre of fabric. Now, now, obviously, with a sleeve, it's going to be a bit more, bit more. But still but not less much. than a meter and a half. Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, and yeah, it's brilliant. So mm. making it from a jersey fabric, but switching the band, for yeah, switching yeah. the facing for a band, and you've got a t-shirt ready to go. Yes. So we're definitely going to experiment with that a little bit more and make some more t-shirts from that pattern. Yes, aren't we? yes, we are absolutely. And then I've got a shirt which we have done a pattern review on, but it was one of my uh, most recent makes, and this is the. Bromo shirt by PH7. Yeah. Um, we have a video dedicated to this, but I thought I would just bring it along and show it as another one of my lovely makes. Yes, because you want Bromo and Barry to be Bromo Bromos. And, to be <laughs> the bromance of Bromo and Barry. <laughs> <laughs> so let's put them on. <laughs> yes. So Bye. here we go. <laughs> This is our Stitch Sisters uh, Simple Top from our Simple Tops class. Yes. Um, just with a neck band added. Um, I sewed it up completely with a sewing machine, no overlock or anything, and without any finishing on the inside. Yes. Because I wanted it to be as true to the class as possible. And uh -huh. that's a class about us um, showing people that you don't have to know everything. You can no. just make something quick and easy and then develop your skills later Absolutely. as you go. And this is perfect for that. But, this but a lot of the shape of it doesn't, doesn't free on the inside anyway no exactly and I just decided to pop it on with this please say skirt which is a free DIY here on YouTube yes um, where you we'll just take well. please say fabric we tell you how to cut it what measurements you need and then we add an elastic band yes. there but I just thought I'd been quite trouser heavy so I'd pop on a skirt outfit ready to go it makes me want to curtsy <laughs> <laughs> if I could bend my legs <laughs> you wish you can because I've broken her <laughs> so here's the Bromo and you can the lovely thing about the Bromo is it's got this high low hem which hopefully you can see on here. It is a, a unisex pattern. Uh -huh. I did struggle a little bit with it. The instructions weren't fantastic, but we got there in the end. Yeah. I like the proportions of it. Um, I'm not sure whether I'd make another one only because I think I would have to get over. And you want my Cynthia. And I want your Cynthia instead. <laughs> but I think uh, because this is such a unique shape, yeah. I'm not sure if I need more than one of them. No, that's yeah, the other that thing about sense, it yeah. that makes any sense. Yeah. So it's a really good, uh, it's a really good shirt. I really will wear it a lot. I really and love it open, actually, because I yeah. haven't seen it done up so far. So I think it's just 
really quite cool. Yeah, it, it feels, is. you know, quite, that, quite the back. And, it, and it's and it's a lightweight shirting fabric that I've used for it. Yeah. So it's not going to be any. Sorry. It's not going to be any um, any problem to wear it. It's going to be nice and light to wear in the summer, yeah. and you can wear it with nothing underneath or just leave it open like this. So that was it. And if yes. you want to see a longer review, then you can head over to the video, which yes, we'll link to you. Yes, absolutely. We'll link <laughs> everything you will need, patterns everything. and anything that you can get, we'll link below. Yes. Uh, fabrics, patterns, and, um, and other videos and that kind of thing. Yes. Now, I've just realised, looking at the rail, there was one more thing that I was oh. going to try on for you, but I'm going to save that for another video. But it's just a case of showing that sometimes your makes don't quite work out okay. the way you wanted them to. So um, going back, I don't know, four, three, four years ago, something like that, we yeah. filmed a stash attack video yes. where I made a jumpsuit. And this was the fabric that I made the jumpsuit in. Yes. Now, I loved it. I just never wore it as a yeah. jumpsuit. It felt quite like wedding-y or like going uh, to the races or something like that. Was it like the that. fabric? I don't know, it's just, it had this, it was sleeveless, it had a wrap top, and it yeah. had a kind of, it was comfy and everything, but yeah. I just found that other than that photo shoot, I literally never wore it. Right, Not okay. once. It was too heavy to take on holiday, um, yeah. but it just felt too dressy for anything that I wanted. Okay. So, I decided to hack it into a pair of trousers. Um, so, it just has the same wide leg that it had before, um, but what I did is I took the sash, which was uh, already made, okay. to around the waist and I turned that into the waistband. Amazing! And because I didn't want to actually make it any thinner, I did a paperback waist at the top. Yeah. So there's a wide elastic in there that I've just stitched down the middle of. Lovely. Because um, I wanted it to be kind of a little bit more evenly sort of cinched in. Yeah. And then it's got this gather on the top. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I will look forward to putting that on for you next time or sharing yeah. it on Instagram at some point. But um, it's another but monotone are... print though, isn't it? It's navy and white. So yeah, it is, exactly. You can pair it with any bright colour. Yeah, exactly. And I just thought, you know what, it's, it's such, they're such lovely trousers. I just love how wide they are. Yes. And how flat flattering they are and how cool they look um, but I just wasn't going to wear it as a jumpsuit so 10 inch trousers Not so fun. go and have a look in your wardrobe if there's anything you've made in previous seasons previous spring times that's yes. still there but you've not worn have a look at it and think to yourself why aren't I wearing it yes is it because I don't have something that it goes with mm -hmm. is it because it's not actually my style mm -hmm. is it because I only really like the fabric I don't actually like what I turn the fabric into yes um, and then have a think about is there anything you can do to change that yeah if there's not it's time to donate it and clear some space in your wardrobe but if there is sense. then you get the fun and the speed of a super quick make because it's already three quarters yes. made yes <laughs> absolutely we love that that's the superpower of a sewer yeah. <laughs> So that's all we've got for you today, but that was quite a lot of making. That it was, was quite good. Yes. I've also got a pair of trousers which are 90% made, but I didn't quite get the time to finish them. So I'll save them for the next one. Excellent. I'm already one item up. Yes. So we hope you enjoyed that. And uh, we have lots more plans for videos to bring yes. you very soon. We're very, very excited about a series that we're planning at the moment, mm. which is going to teach you everything you could possibly ever want to know about jeans and <gasps> sewing jeans. Yes. And we're going to be sewing jeans. Yes. Lots so, of jeans. Yes. So you can look forward to that over the coming months and we will see you very soon. Bye. Bye.